We have the first part sorted, we have the rig. Let us now add some agent layers. I'm actually just going to add one agent layer. So I have this regular zombie and I also want to have a party zombie. I'm going to drop down a tube and I'm going to set that to zero. I'm going to have a need to polygon. Maybe the scale so and then I'm going to drop down the transform. I'm going to move it up to his head here. So go up, I'm going to make it smaller, much, much smaller. And then I'm going to take it here and something like that, maybe some tilt to it. Something like that. So now you're going to have like this little party hat and he will be the fun zombie. So let's also drop down a null, and I'm going to say out party hat. And now to create a layer, we can use an agent layer sop. So I'm going to click that, and now the agent disappears. We see the mockup Piper 3, so let's just go to hide other objects. So now it just disappeared. What happened? And that is because we defined a new layer. We haven't told it to turn on any geometry. It's just called new layer. First of all, let's call this party zombie. Make sure you don't have spaces here, by the way, because that's going to give you problems later. But what I want to have, I want to have the layer we have here, because it creates a default layer here. So we call it layer name default. So I want to use that layer, and then I want to add to it. And then you can just say source layers. So I've got to say, okay, use the default layer. And now I want to add something to this default layer. So then I can go, you see I have these layer bindings. I can click this plus. And the first thing here, transform name, lets me define what joints I'm going to attach it to. So let's go and find the head. So here is the head. And now our agent has this weird thing on his head. This is the collision shape that gets created automatically when you create an agent. I'll talk more about collision shapes later, so let's ignore this for now. Then I need to click Add Shape, and this will add a new shape to our shape library. And then I can point to this party hat, and I'm going to call this hat. So every geometry piece needs to have a name. And now you can see we have the party hat, and it's attached to the head. Cool. The reason that a hat gets attached to its current position is that I have the checkbox Keep Position When Attaching Checked. This means that it will create an offset based on its current position. If you wouldn't have done this, you would have to go down to the Offset section and set the position, scale, and rotation by hand. But this is more convenient. Okay, so we have this party zombie, and let's just see what we have. So uh, you can use this node, Agent Edit. This node is very practical to check different things on your agent. I have, for example, this set current layer. So I can set the current layer to default without hat. And I can also set it to party zombie. And now he has a hat. Right, okay. So now we have created a layer and it's added that new shape into the shape library. Let's just continue in this order. So next up is to create some clips.